Claude just got a brand new update that allows it to connect with over 7,000 different apps. And now this makes this one of the most powerful AI tools that exists right now because it could do things like answer your emails or you could use it to automate things amongst 7,000 different integrations. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to turn this on, how to use it, and five insane use cases that you're gonna to wanna to start to use today to automate your work. Okay, so setting this up is actually going to be incredibly easy. What you need to do is you need to come over here to the bottom left-hand side. You need to click on settings right here. And under profile, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna be able to see all of your different capabilities here and all of your different integrations. Now, right here, you could see I'm already connected to Zapier, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disconnect and I'm gonna reconnect to show you guys exactly how to do this. So we're gonna to come to add more right here and now we're going to click an integration name. I'm gonna name this Zapier New. And then what we're going to need is we're going to need the MCP URL right here. Now, in order to get this, you're gonna to come to mcp.zapier.com. You could set up a free account with this, and then you're going to click on new MCP server. When it asks for your client right here, you are going to click on Claude, and then you are just going to give it a name. Now, as you can see, I have already set this up right here. And what we're gonna be able to control from here is all of the different tools that this is going to have access to. For example, we could put in Gmail right here and then we could add all of the different actions that we want to be able to take on Gmail. We could have it find data or we could have it take action and you wanna make sure that you come in and add all of these different things. So a Gmail account, I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to connect this Gmail account in order to connect it with Zapier. Now, we're going to go through, we're going to do this, have AI select this for me, I'm going to click save. So this will now have this capability. Now, obviously, under Gmail, you're going to want to go through and you are going to want to make sure that you enable a bunch of different capabilities here, anything that you want it to be able to do. And we could come through here and search for different things. For example, let's say that I want to add school in here. We come over here and we could go through and see all the different capabilities that it has. Again, this can connect to like over 7,000 or 8,000 different apps. And this is really going to blow your mind. So from here, what you now have to do is click on connect right here. You're going to get this integration URL. You are going to copy this. You are going to come back over here and you are going to paste this right in here. Now, from here, we're going to click add. We're going to confirm that we trust this integration. And then you can see up here that a server already exists. So that exists because I have already created it over here and I've already connected this. Now I'm going to reconnect this. I'm going to allow this to get access to all of my different stuff right here. And then what we will be able to do is view all of my different integrations. And we could see now Zapier is connected and we could see all of the different tools that this has access to. Now, if we come back over to Claude over here, you're going to notice a few things. And now all we have to do to actually use this is come over here, we can click on Zapier and make sure that all of these are actually turned on right here. And then literally you're just going to use a prompt right here, mention the integration and it's going to go ahead and do things. In addition to that, if you connect a bunch of different data sources, let's say that you have your drive connected, you have your calendar connected, you have Gmail connected, you have Slack connected, you can now use this new resource search feature and guess what it is not only going to use the web to search for things but it also going to go through all your emails all your drive all your calendar or whatever other integrations that you have set up in order to do research for you. Now, before I get into these five crazy use cases, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI tools. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not gonna to wanna to miss them. Okay, I just went through and I set up a bunch of different integrations here. So now what we're gonna be able to see is if we come in here and come into integrations, actually let's refresh this so that it actually shows here. We will be able to come in here, come into Zapier and we will see this can now do a bunch of different things. For example, it can send an email for me. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say, please use the Gmail integration with Zapier and send an email to Robert at queencitymediagroup.com with the subject line, love your latest video and write him three paragraphs about how we loved his latest video. Now, if I go through and I click send right here, 
what are we going to see? We're going to see the Claude is now going to be able to do this because of this new integration and it having access here. So we could see that this is going through and this is doing this and this is gonna go ahead and say we could allow once or we could always allow it. And we can see the Claude is using an external integration right here. I'm gonna say allow once, this is going to go through. And what is this going to do? This is literally going to send an email on my behalf. Now what this is going to do right here is this is literally going to go through and this is going to send an email. It knows the request, who to send it to, it knows the body that it's going to put, and then it fills out exactly what the email is going to be, and then this goes through and actually does this. Now look at this, I am literally going to load up my email right here, we're going to click refresh here, and what do we see? Love your latest video, and it went through and wrote me three different paragraphs here. Now I want you to think about how crazy this is going to be, because not only can it read your emails, you can also get it to respond to your emails, label your emails, and you can start to use Claude to actually manage your Box. Now that was just the first test. The second task is I said create a calendar event with Robert at QueenCityMediaGroup.com added to it to discuss his 401k for 9.30 a.m. Eastern May 4th. Now you can see that this goes through and actually does that. So let me set that up for you. I need to provide some more details. I see we need to create an event. I'll create the event on your calendar and I'm going to include Robert as an attendee. Great. The time slot appears to be available. And then it went through and it actually had an issue, but then it was able to actually solve that issue and then what it was able to do was actually figure out how to actually do this and guess what it also sent over an email so if I come into my inbox right here what are we going to notice I should have an email from my other email saying hey I want to meet at this time I actually see that I have two because I had tested this out before I actually tried to do this um, just to make sure that it would work for the sake of this video so I'd like to schedule a meeting with you to discuss your 401k plan options Saturday May 4th uh, please let me know if this time works for you or if we need to reschedule and then also if we come over to my calendar you're going to see that this event was created for 9 30 a.m. for May 4th which is going to be Sunday now this next use case is even crazier than all of the past ones. I said to this, can you find me a list of 10 lawn care companies in Boca Raton, Florida that I should reach out to to pitch them my AI service and then please put their information in a Google Sheet. Now, before I walk you through it actually doing this and then I show you the results, I did want to warn you about something. Whenever you add new integrations into Zapier and then you come into a new chat, you need to make sure that if you come in here, you see all these in here. Because one thing that I found was that like if I ran into trouble with something, I went over to Zapier, I started adding different tools and different features in here, and then I came back to this chat that it wasn't actually loaded up in there. So you need to make sure that you're not making that same mistake. So this one through, did a bunch of research, found 10 lawn care companies, and then it created a sheet for me, and then it filled in the sheet, and it tells me exactly what it did here and all the different things that it put in here, and it even gave me a link to the spreadsheet. Now, if I click on this, what is going to pop up is all of this right here. Now, one change that I would obviously make in the future is I would say, only include ones that you can find a phone number for. And then I'd also want to make sure that it puts in here a list of different things that we could pitch these folks and maybe even sends them an email if I have their email address. Because again, this has access to that. Or maybe I wanted to give this access to Lindy where I have my AI voice agent that can then go ahead and call these folks, see if they're interested, and then schedule a meeting for me to actually pitch them. Or the AI could literally just pitch them themselves and judge the interests and see whether or not they're actually interested. Do you see how crazy this is? You can now connect all these different apps with an LLM and get it to be able to take all these different actions. I think that if Google doesn't release something like this very soon, and if ChatGPT doesn't release something like this very soon, Claude is going to be able to eat these companies for lunch because I can literally now combine this with basically everything that I do. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to use this. I'm going to do several different prompts here and I'm going to get this to help me create a YouTube video. So I'm going to say, I want to create a YouTube video about Zapier MCP plus Claude integration. Please do a bunch of research on this and how to craft a perfect YouTube video that maximizes audience retention. 
once you've done that, please craft me a YouTube script and put it in a Google Doc for me. So what is this going to go ahead and do? This is going to go ahead and create the YouTube script that you are seeing right now. Not literally, I'm just going to use the outline from it, but I am going through and I am having this actually create this. Now, again, we want to come over here and we'll notice that I had to go into Zapier and I had to add all of these different accesses to it for it to be able to access my Google Doc. But what do we notice right here? That all of these accesses have been added, but if we come over to here, we're going to see that there are still only 19 integrations. Again, this is really like one of the only bad bugs that I found with this is, so this actually doesn't have access to do this right now. So this is going to run into a bunch of issues down here and that's why it's creating a Google Sheet instead of creating a Google Doc. So what I'm gonna to have to do, open up a new chat, I'm gonna cancel that out. I'm gonna come in here, Zapier new, we could see that it wasn't added, but if we reload Claude right here, we should see now there should be more than 19 here, and we could see that there's a bunch of Google Docs is available now. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna retype this in, and this is gonna go ahead, do all the research it needs to do, and it is literally going to write me a script for my YouTube video. Okay, now as we can see here, this is done. It comes over here and it gives me a breakdown of exactly how it did this. And it says that the script is now available in my Google Drive. Basically goes through the different way that it thought about this, all the different things that it added in here and a bunch of other stuff. And it asks if it wants me to make any adjustments. Now what I could do, so I could come over to my Google Drive. I am going to type in Zapier up here. And then what we could do from here is come over here, we click on this document, we come in here, and we will see that it has literally written out the script for me. Now, if you're really excited about AI, I would strongly suggest that you go to the pin comment below and check out AI Automation School. It's my group where I'm teaching you how to automate your work with AI, how to make money with AI, how to set up AI agents, AI workflows, and all that, and you don't have to know how to code. It is incredibly beginner friendly and if you want to get better with AI and learn how you can make money with these tools and automate your work and do all the other crazy things that you see so many other people doing, I strongly suggest that you check it out below. In addition to that, I literally give you personalized feedback. You fill out a form and I tell you what tools you should be using and I'm always there to answer your questions and guide you through things. Or I would strongly suggest that you check out this video right here that walks you through a bunch of new Gemini features that you probably haven't heard of before. I'll see you over there.